Today we're going to show you the unpacking of the MakerBot Mini. But first, I would like to show you some of the other MakerBot lineup. This is the Replicator 2X, which allows for dual extrusion and the use of ABS, which is what most of our customers use. This is the Replicator 2 and next generation, fifth generation Replicator system. When you unpack the Mini from the box, you get the Mini itself, the side panel, and a box that contains instructions on how to put the MakerBot together, filament, filament guide tube, tray, the smart extruder, a USB cable, and the power adapter. Now that I've unpacked the Mini, I'm going to show you how to assemble it for first use. Following along with the instructions, first steps are to take it out of the box. The next step is to take the smart extruder and put it, the extruder down in place. And it's magnetic, so it will pop right on. Next, take the filament and make sure you have some ready. Slide it down into place. The next step is to take the filament too and make sure you have your filament going through the tube. And it clips on to the side of the filament tube case right here. and has a little arrow on it pointing which direction goes out. Next, the filament tube goes right into the extruder head. Like so. The next step is to take your tray. The tray comes with blue tape that is oriented with these holes over where the magnetic points of contact are. The tray slides right in, like so. The final step is to install the plug. If you're facing the machine, the plug is on the left side. The final guide to the installation of your MakerBot Mini is to connect it with USB or Wi-Fi, in this case USB. Turn on the MakerBot and follow the system setup in the MakerBot software, making sure that under devices you choose MakerBot. Good luck, and if you have any questions, look for my blog at catdink.com.